Hello YouTubers, it is I, Hellgear, and it's time for the Progress Report for Summer 2019. First and foremost, to everyone who is new to the channel, I say, welcome! I hope you stick around for a while because I plan to entertain you for a while. And if this is your first look at a Progress Report, allow me to do some housekeeping for you. Every periodic time, I will do one of these Progress Reports. During these progress reports, I talk about the going-ons of the channel, and usually they revolve around any schedule changes for uploads. I will get to the upload schedule a little bit later on, but I will also talk about a few things channel-wise, including technical issues. So. If you have any questions, whether you are new to the channel or if you are a channel faithful, please leave them in the comment section below. I look forward to reading and answering all of your questions, comments, concerns, and I will get back to you. I do read the comments, and please don't be shy. You're welcome to speak your mind as long as you're not a jerk. Because, as YouTube has made it perfectly clear, if somebody is a commenter on the joke, they can lock the entire comments and flag videos for that. So, P's and Q's, please. Now, to those of you who are new to making YouTube channel, it's channels, and some of you are, the YouTube algorithm has had its one year, this is its second year of 1,000 subs and 4,000 hours viewed per minute. This is how YouTube cuts the mustard on channels. In order for your channel to get the actual site support, you have to have 1,000 subs in a year, and your videos must have 4,000 hours viewed for the year. Subs are on the climb, they're not anywhere near the 1,000 type, and that usually is how things work on these years. That's okay. I would like to get more people subscribed to the channel, but I guess the recent issues with things are, the re are why that hasn't happened. But this is why I say if you guys enjoy, please show your love and hit the like button, and of course subscribe to the channel. It's all greatly appreciated. And when I say it's all greatly appreciated, this isn't me giving you the wishy-washy clickbait sub bait. I really do appreciate each and every last view, comment, like, and sub to the channel. It helps me entertain all of you a lot better. Hours viewed for a minute. I was doing the math because you know you got to check your stats. We're a little bit over the halfway point, which at this point in time is really good. You know, I hope to get the hours viewed quota met by the fall. And usually around the summertime is when many of you are going to come to YouTube for your entertainment needs to keep out of the hot, hot sun or the blistering cold if you live in the southern hemisphere because in the north it's super hot summer but down in the southern hemisphere it's freezing cold winter. My uh, Australian audience knows about that one pretty well. So whether you be passing away those cold months or staying cool under the burning months, please check out the channel and the content and uh, show your support. Anyways, the big issue that has been going on with the channel, and I mentioned this during the previous channel progress report, is tech issues. Many of the series that I have on the channel are mobile games, and I play my mobile games on my tablet. And with the tablet issues, almost all of them have become unplayable which is why throughout this time I've been looking into getting another tablet 
The problem with getting these new tablets that actually have the processing power is they don't have the space to put all of the things that I give content for you guys on. And the space that they do provide, I would have to delete something from these new small space tablets just to update a current game. Mind you, I do have the latest versions of stuff. And just to be technical, your mobile device, whether it be your phone or a tablet, can only process so much. And as time moves on, a particular game that you play for years and years and years will reach the point where it simply outgrows your mobile device. That is the case with a lot of things. And when it outgrows your mobile device, performance starts to get noticed. In the case of Merge Dragons, many of you have told me as you watch me do Merge Dragons that you're not a fan of seeing a complete freeze where it does nothing except play the sound or you're seeing Ezra just on the map where he's flapping his wings but he's just in the air levitating like a ghost no real hover or flapping the wings and that's not entertaining for you you know it's also not entertaining when during a level I get kicked out of out of the game or it causes the tablet to crash which means a reboot and a re-entry on the game that's not entertaining for you guys not just on Merge Dragons but also with Smurfs Village you've told me this I listen and it's one of the reasons why I'm getting <laughs> upgraded tech because you gotta stay upgraded because like I said Versions of mobile games outgrow mobile devices. Says, I've had this issue also with Snoopy's Town Tale, and many people have been having this issue, which I addressed with the support team, where the loading screen likes to stay on the loading screen even at a full bar for five minutes before going into the game. And that's not fun. Some people have actually had non-responses or their game would just crash after a fully loaded bar on the loading screen. I've been one of these individuals. You know, it's not fun for me. It's not fun for you guys. And as you told me, it's not entertaining and you don't want to see that. Same goes with Shuriken Master. Having the freeze where Tofu does not move and the enemies do is not entertaining for you guys. And I plan on addressing all of these issues with the better tech. And once this better tech is back in business, things will go back to schedule as usual. The silver lining to this is that I'm getting some test runs done and in the test runs things aren't going crash or kick out. One of these instances is with Smurfs Epic Run. And this is a good thing because unlike many of the mobile games out there, to those of you who are new, the Smurfs Epic Run development team just stopped their progress on the game last summer. In fact, July 18th of last year. They even removed that mobile game from all the mobile stores. So I've been playing the game faithfully, not just because it was the very first mobile game on the channel, but I do enjoy the game. And that playlist death, that series death is going to be a very hard thing for me to deal with because <laughs> that was the first one. First mobile game I played on the channel. So things are going well I'm gonna make another test run or two and if things stay consistent like this there will be some more Smurfs Epic Run episodes coming up which means content can continue for that the same goes for Smurfs Bubble Shooter Story 
doing some test runs, being able to play through levels, well, or at least play in levels without it getting kicked or just up and crash altogether. So, if testing goes well, there will be some more content for that. Moving on to current playlist action. To all of you who have been enjoying the Sunday Run Day, I've been playing some Team Sonic Racing. That is the most recently dropped game. Well, actually the most recently dropped game is Gato Roboto, but for, uh, for like the other reasons, Team Sonic Racing. You know, the series is being taken well by all of you, and I plan on doing more with it. Feedback from you guys, I hope, is it just comes so you're not shy or scared of me. Please don't be shy or scared of me. I'm a nice guy. So, there's going to be more of that on the way. Series that are coming to an end, however, and this is something I must address. Sunday, I finished the world tour for Horizon Chase Turbo. I do have a few more things, or not things, episodes and, and uploads planned for that. But afterwards, this might be a finished series. Which is okay, because it had a little bit over 20 episodes. Which is really good for a very fun throwback to arcade racers. You know, Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg is slowly but surely coming to a close. I started this playthrough as my Easter themed playthrough and even though it's long since past Easter I didn't want to wait until next Easter to continue the playthrough I figured I'll just finish it out so I want to say thank you to everyone who's been enjoying Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg as well as a big thank you to everyone who has been enjoying Animaniacs the Great Edgar Hunt that has been a rather fun collectathon to play for all of you guys I know there are a lot of Animaniacs fans out there, and there still hasn't been any new word on when the new Animaniacs TV series is coming up. And the main reason I was, I'm was i playing this game is to celebrate the TV series reboot, which should be happening sometime this year. Hopefully not in 2020, which I believe is what they have done with the Smurfs animated series. They're pushing it back to 2020. <laughs> Speaking of pushbacks, um, let's talk about how Paramount Pictures decided to push back the release of the Sonic the Hedgehog atrocity movie to Valentine's Day of, of next year. Um, yeah, that was pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. The, the trailer for that, where they wanted it out in November, was bad. And the fact that they have Sonic running to Gangsta's Paradise? <laughs> what? They, it's like Paramount pushing it back is a smart thing. So if you guys are working on the Sonic movie and you ever catch this, you need to get a hold of Crush 40. You know, the rock group that does almost all of Sonic's music. Yeah. Hire them to do some original music for the movie. Because uh, the memes about the Sonic movie, about Jim Carrey's back being sore after carrying the Sonic movie, <laughs> from that terrible trailer, and it was terrible, is just bad. It's Sonic related, okay? I've talked about Team Sonic Racing, and it's done by Sonic Team, which Team Sonic Racing and Billy Hatcher and the Giant Hague are. Speaking of movies, uh, Godzilla is in the theaters right now. So I do plan to not only watch that, but give a movie review of that as well. I do do movie reviews. It is a playlist. I didn't do the movie review for Avengers Endgame. I wanted to, but it's far too late now. <laughs> it's far too late now. You know, I still have to do a, one of Aladdin. I haven't even seen Aladdin. I didn't even get to see Dumbo, and I want to do a movie review of that. Guess I'll have to catch uh, Dumbo on DVD. 
it'll probably in DB on DVD sometime in November since it got overclouded by Captain Marvel and again Avengers Endgame so yeah Aladdin is on my to watch list for movies Godzilla is on my to watch for movie list not sure if I'll go and watch The Lion King uh, there's a movie coming out soon Oh, that's right. Dark Phoenix is coming out. The X-Men movie. Ooh. That's going to be a fun movie to review, too. If I can get out to see it. Let's see. Well, since I'm already talking about content that I do on the channel, let's talk about that. Matter of fact, let's rewind back to Snoopy's Town Tale. Because this is one of the more popular series on the channel. You guys love this stuff. Thank you for loving it. All right. To my Snoopy's Town Tale players out there, the summer camp update should be hitting mobile stores soon. Snoopy's Town Tale's Facebook page already gave pictures to what it looks like. And from one of the little Beagle Scout birdies has told me, they've already released shots of what the loading screen looks like. So, this is what I will tell you. This is not a spoiler. They've already posted this on their Facebook page. It's raining in summer camp this year. So, that is the thing. Summer camp is being rained out. Which means, uh... Yeah, it's almost like tropical times. Like, back in Jamaica. Sometimes it would rain during the summer. Around this time of the year. Then again, it's like hurricane season now. And the in the Caribbean. Uh, so yes, everyone playing Snoopy's Town Tale, be on the lookout for the summer camp update. Summer camp is rained out. You know, Merge Dragons just recently finished their Merge 5 event. I did a recap of that yesterday, because today is Tuesday. And sometime this week, they're dropping their cat dragon event because they do that every two weeks the first week was the merch five so this week is probably gonna be the cat dragon event so to everyone playing merch dragons hope you're ready for some cat dragon action alrighty then on that topic because merch dragons has did a thing where they're going to be doing events almost every week now. Normally, I would post up an episode on Dragonic Monday. But, if this is going to be a constant as we enter year three of Merge Dragons, where it's going to be an event dragon week, then a Merge 5 event week, then an event dragon week, and then a Merge 5 event week, throughout our months recapping and posting episodes is going to be rather tedious so I still haven't decided whether or not to move Merge Dragon uploads to Feel Good Friday if I do I will let you know today is Tuesday and this is usually the day where I would upload an episode or some content of Snoopy's Town Tale. As this is the day of the week known as Town Tale Tuesday to everyone who is new. Again, this is the day where we're known where this channel is known for uploading an episode of Snoopy's Town Tale. But I'm foregoing that to give you guys this progress report. Next up is What's Up Wednesday. This is the day where I will just post up any random thing. Now, what has been going on What's Up Wednesday is that's the day where I've been posting a new episode of Animaniacs The Great Edgar Hunt since I've started the playthrough. I've been posting it there. I plan to post another episode of Animaniacs The Great Edgar Hunt tomorrow. As well as, I believe, some more Splatoon 2. Because, um, let's talk about Splatoon 2 for a moment. 
one of the things that I've been doing with this is I've been keeping you guys in the loop on the little squid research channel on the switches discussions about abilities and whatnot but uh, the gear this month and I, and I still have to upload the salmon run where I get it is a friendship bracelet and I know this because I look at Splatnet but here's the thing everyone on the Splatoon 2 uh, huh, is talking about feet and as I came to find out the friendship bracelet is not a bracelet it's an anklet you wear it on the ankle and when you wear this friendship bracelet your inkling slash octoling is running around barefoot. <laughs> Leave it to Splatoon 2's fan base to make memes on every little thing that comes up in the game. You know, it's like this one somebody had on their Tumblr where it's Splatoon 2 texts taken out of context, right? Where they got the guy trying to press a button and one button says LGBT because June is Pride Month and then the other is to talk about <laughs> Splatoon 2 Ling Feet. Ah, the things that happen with our media over the week. Alright. I mentioned Feel Good Friday. Usually I take that off. But with events happening on Merge Dragons, you know, it's been really odd. The other day that I like to take Office Throwback Thursday. Excuse me, folks. I got to do this one quick thing. So Throwback Thursday, I like to keep to throwback games or vintage games, like Rusty Retros or The Throwback, which Animaniacs the Great Edgar Hunt and Billy Hacker and Giant Egg are. I'm still trying to get back into the habit of bi-weekly upload, uploads for Billy Hacker and the Giant Egg, but since this series is slowly coming to a close, close it those might slow down. Now, usually, if I don't have a throwback or vintage thing to upload, I take Thursday off. However, I've been uploading episodes of Cuphead on Thursday. And I'm in the process of working out the finishing touches for my Cuphead thumbnails. So, folks, Please bear with me on the thumbnail thing. I know that's a really big issue because as they tell you and as I was told by you, we like to see the nice thumbnails you do of your uh, playlists. I mentioned Smurf's Epic Run and Smurf's Bubble Shooter Story. Those are a couple of things I like to do for Smurfy Saturday. You know, I would also play Smurfs Village on Smurfy Saturday. And if I don't play any of these things, I've tried to have some sort of Smurfy content for you guys. You know, that is for the Smurfy stuff. And then lastly, there is the Sunday Run Day. You may see an episode of Smurfs Epic Run there because on Sunday is the day I usually do my running games and my racing games. You know, Horizon Chase Turbo has been uploading on Sundays. But as I said before, with Horizon Chase Turbo's World Tour now officially closed, and I have only a couple of things left for that, there may be some, there may not be too much to upload on Sunday. We'll see. I still have Team Sonic Racing, so that's a little something I can upload. Speaking of racing games, and they already have the meme out, and people are talking about this in the YouTube community, comparing Team Sonic Racing to Crash Nitro Kart. 
Yes, the remake of Crash Nitro Kart is, uh, it should be releasing either today or tomorrow. I would like to play this on the channel, but I don't want to have too many racing content, racing game content up on the channel because it doesn't all get watched. You know? Also, there's a Pokemon Direct coming up very soon. I think the Pokemon Direct is going to come up tomorrow on What's Up Wednesday regarding Pokemon Sword and Shield. I'm not sure whether or not I should play that on the channel since it's going to be a Switch release and not a 3DS release. Now, here's how I rule on the Pokemon games, folks, and I want to make this perfectly clear. I told myself when Pokemon Sword and Shield was announced over the winter that I would let you, my viewing audience, decide which version of the game I play if I do add it to the channel. So, to those of you who forgot about that, here's my situation on Pokemon in general. When new versions come out, I like to get both versions you know for example when sun and moon came out i have one sun game and i have one moon game i didn't get the ultra versions of the game which that still is like hitting me hard in the butt cheeks because the new electric legendary cat was only a download code for ultra sun and ultra moon it's like they completely for they completely just wiped away the original Sun and Moon. So, if you guys would like me to do the next region, because I like to have both versions so I can get all the Pokemon. If you guys want me to run Galar region, you tell me if you would prefer I run Sword version, or if you would like to see me run Shield version. Let me know in the comments section below. And uh, whichever one gets the most views on the time I decide whether or not to do it, I'll play it on the channel. See how it works, see what happens. It's gonna be interesting to get both versions of Sword and Shield because uh, as you guys know in the Pokemon news, Pokemon Home is going to be incorporating Pokemon Bank in 2020. And that's something that has to happen with the Pokemon Company. I've mentioned this before. Since Pokemon Bank only works with the 3DS systems, and the rumor of talking about how to incorporate Pokemon Bank with the Pokemon Go games, this is something that Game Freak has to adjust to. They have to be able to make it so that Pokemon trainers can access their pocket console Pokemon because Pokemon does translate to pocket monsters in case anybody forgot how they're going to do this on the main system. So it would be nice to catch my sweet Alolan Vulpix and use it in the Galar region. But that's all I'm going to say about this. Any little series priority things, I'll probably not do. I probably will not be uploading on Independence Day because it is July 4th in the summertime. If you guys have any questions, again, let me know in the comment section below. Once tablet tech issues are reserved, all the contents of mobile games that had problems with it on the tablet, they will be getting back up to speed as normal. But in the meantime, I'll be trying my best to put up content in place that is not mobile games on these particular days. Thank you so much for hearing me out. I will look forward to your comments and questions and concerns in the comments section below. But for now, I take my goose from the oven because I'm done. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.